Hello everyone, this is Mike Check 95 for another Mike Check Productions Mike Check Movie Review. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Join the madness. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The works. There's also a Discord link in the description box down below. Be sure to click on it, talk to us, share you some ideas, some movies, some projects. We're up for it. The movie that we review today is Apollo 18. Oh boy. Let's get into the numbers. Critics rate this film a 2.4 out of 10, while audiences rate this film a 2.3 out of 10. This film's budget was $5 million, and it boxed off its back $26.2 million. I'm wondering why this film made so much money, but I'm also not wondering why this film got a low rating. I'm wondering why it didn't get even lower rating. My comments. This film was reviewed on October Horror Fest 2014, the first year of Horror Fest completely. I wasn't there for the film, uh, film because I had to work, so my friends had reviewed it for me. They basically told me how it was while the review was going, so I never actually got to sit down and watch it until today. Remember how I said in uh, the Peggy Sue review that... I, whenever I stop taking notes during a movie, it's either because the film is fucking boring or I'm really wrapped up in the story and that I'm actually being entertained by it. This is the case of the film is so fucking bad, I'm bored out of my mind. So, yeah, I basically gave up writing notes for this review about halfway through and I will give you what I have. Pros. At least they attempted to make it look like a 70s found footage film. Even though it looked like they either slapped on a Sony Vegas old film filter or a Snapchat filter on it to make it look old. I'll give them props for that. That's the pros. Here come the cons. Um, saying that the film is true events, like this... Ah, okay, I guess before I get into the review, I need to tend to my cat. This is Max. You guys know him from some of my reviews. He has had a rough life. As you can tell, he has bandages on the back of his head and his feet, poor little feet, these are bad too. He has a uh, bad, severe re allergic reaction to flea bites and it's happened to him twice so far from the two houses that we lived at. So it's been a continuous uphill battle trying to take care of him and cure his uh, injuries. But please, Send some likes and some shares and some subscriptions to wish Max a happier life and hopefully he gets to feel better. Oh yeah, and his ears are kind of fucked up too from him scratching it from fleas. So say hi to Max, tell him he needs to feel better. He looks very angry, but that's only because he's in itchy, agonizing itch or pain. So yeah, that's why Max sees all bandaged up. Sorry about that. <laughs> he, had, he jumped on the computer desk and I just want to talk about my cat for a little bit because I'd rather talk about him than this movie. Where was I? Oh yeah, the cons. Uh, saying this film is, that is true events because this is one of the biggest issues when it comes to found footage films. They always want to make it sound like it's based off a true story or true events or this actually happened like 20, 30 years ago when it's like, I know it's supposed to like it's, it's obviously fiction, it adds suspense to it, but some of these based off true event stories that we get in theaters and in movies are just so fucking god awful. And this is one of those examples. It's found footage. I'm very well documented and known to say that I am not a fan of found footage films. I'm also known to say that there are a couple out there that I actually really enjoy. But for a majority, found footage films, specifically found footage horror films, are atrocious and bad and just fucking awful. And this one fell into that category very quick. So when it comes to movies and they're giving us like a uh, informational dump at the very beginning, I tend to not like the that that for a movie unless it's actually a legit like documentary of like something that's going on. This is just a found footage. This film was found in space and was brought back to the US so that it can get put onto this website 
to tell us the truth about what happened to Apollo 18. It just, it felt like a waste of time. It was literally the first 10 minutes of this film. Actually, no, it's actually, it's actually the first five minutes. I should correct myself. But it's just not, no, like, it takes away from the experience of the film. It takes away all the emotion and all, like, the drive behind it. You're just sitting there going, when's the actual movie going to start? Filmmakers, I feel like, need to be more elaborate and more unique when it comes to storytelling instead of just going, this is what's going on here. Here's the stuff that's going on here. If this was more informational and more documentary-ish, and actually was smart and actually was entertaining I would like it so at first they didn't say what year and date the film took place it took them about eight minutes to have one of the uh, astronauts say when it took place which was in 1974 but I was very confused as to when the film was supposed to be taking place because they talked about a lot of the uh, uh, space shuttle landings before that on text on screen and then they went to the document documentary style with the actors explaining oh yeah we're going out back out to the moon and everything and the, the space stuff yada 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 and it's like you're not gonna tell us until you're like oh today's date is yada yada 1974 we landed on the moon blah, blah, blah. It was like you can find other ways to make that more elaborate and more entertaining than just again Confusing the viewer and then just saying it in conversation. My girlfriend had did some research kind of during the film and uh, She said that the moon was kind of designed with like clay on for some screens For some screens for some scenes god this movie thinking about it again is making me go brain dead But to me the moon looked like a shitty horrible Photoshop job which you guys have seen some of my thumbnails when it comes to my videos. Some of them are kind of good. Some of them are absolutely awful. I'll admit to it. I'm not perfect about my thumbnails. It looked like it was just erased horribly and plopped on there. Or it looked like looked CGI'd. Like it looked like... Like, for example, the moon. It was actually a cat. <laughs> Uh, so my next uh, cons, I'm just going to kind of wrap it up all together in the end, because number one, this movie fucking drags. Like, you, I gave up about halfway, I added some things at the very end as the credits were rolling, but I just stopped during the film. The creature design of these aliens I didn't really like, because number one, you didn't really get a chance to fucking see them. Probably because they looked like atrocious shit, and they were disguised as space rocks. And my other issue of the film was they revealed the actual threat too soon in the film, to the viewer. These astronauts were being so stupid because there were so many times where they could have seen something that was going on, but they weren't paying attention and they didn't even say anything about it. But apparently, back at base knew everything about it, yada yada yada, it's like... This movie was awful. I'm giving this film a 1.3 out of 10. This film was definitely a waste of time. I wish I would have took my friend's advice back in 2014 and not watch it. But here I am with my poofy, messy hair. Like, this is how bad the movie looks. Just, just tangled up mess. And just... Yeah. Uh, I'm done talking about this movie. So this is Mike Check 95, another Mike Check Productions, Mike Check Movie Review. We have more reviews coming out in the future and other side projects. I'm done talking about Apollo 18. Signing out.